The Structural Steel Design Awards first commenced in 1969, so they've actually got a very long and well-respected history. Sponsored by Tata Steel and the British Constructional Steelwork Association. The awards were set up because we wanted a mechanism to really celebrate the excellence of steel in construction. Steel delivers strength, flexibility, excellence and imagination. Each year since 1969, the Structural Steel Design Awards show just how versatile and vital steel can be. If you go to any other part of Europe, there is not as much of steel that gets used in construction as probably it gets used over here. Celebrating the work of architects, designers, engineers and builders, the awards recognize all kinds of projects where steel has played a fundamental part in the creation of a useful and often iconic structure. From bridges to offices, hotels to transport links, sports facilities to heritage sites, steel always makes a difference. Contributing to efficiency, cost effectiveness, innovative thinking, and of course, sheer beauty. Since their inception, the awards have rewarded all those things, but they've also been instrumental in raising the profile of everyone involved in participating projects. The awards provide a platform from which to develop businesses, talents, and imaginations as well as proving that steel is a fundamental part of the global construction industry. And that's why, of course, global players like Tata Steel support the awards. The purpose of the awards is to celebrate the excellence of steel in construction in the United Kingdom and the Republic of Ireland, and particularly to highlight constructional steels benefits in efficiency, cost-effectiveness, sustainability and aesthetics because it really is a beautiful material and what you actually get out of it is buildings that make our built environment what it is today and that leave a lasting legacy for the general population to live, work and play in. Entering a project for an award is a simple process. Just download an entry form and fill in the details of each project you want to enter. Entries are examined closely and a shortlist created by eight highly qualified judges. The judges come from a range of backgrounds and represent all the specialities involved in the industry. And each year they take on the unenviable task of choosing winners from a field that's always full of very strong entries. In 2013, for instance, the entries were located all over Britain and each was visited by the judging team. We are interested in a, a very wide range of projects and indeed we've looked at so many over the years and in the last couple of years, if you look at the results, we've recognised sculptures, uh, small projects like cafes, we've even looked at house extensions so the range is enormous and we're very, very keen to encourage people to put in a wide range of projects. They looked not only at the way steel was used, but also at wider issues like environmental impact, how the structure met the client's brief, how adaptable it is and how it serves the local community or its specific users. Once site visits were completed, notes were compared and the debate began. We'd be glad for you to tell us yeah. what you want to say. Yeah. Tell yeah. us why you've done what you've done. Yeah. We had an initial meeting where we shortlisted uh, a number of projects uh, based upon the uh, paper-based submissions. Uh, and then teams of three or four have gone around to visit uh, those shortlisted ones. And today is the time when we will come together and decide which ones should be given an award. Judges always claim to have had a difficult job, but with these awards, the cliché always turns out to be true. In 2013, it really was a difficult choice. What I'm really looking for is something that I haven't seen before. S a solution to a problem that might be a, a, a common problem, but somebody has used some ingenuity, some wit, some creativity in solving that problem. And it might be design, 
or it might be the way in which um, the structure was, was actually built and realised. Sixteen projects were shortlisted in 2013, from which three received commendations and four received awards. The four winners stood out for very different reasons. Air West One saw the imaginative refurbishment of a listed building in the heart of London, the Regent Palace Hotel. The Cutty Sark rose from the ashes of a devastating 2007 fire to become one of London's most innovative heritage sites. And steel plays a stunning part in that success. It took just 15 months from contract to opening to make the Emirates airline the UK's first urban cable car, linking north and south across the Thames. And at Poole in Dorset, the Twin Sails Bridge delivers a much-needed transport link and has quickly become an iconic landmark. Congratulations now. Ladies and gentlemen, the first Each year, a celebrity host welcomes nominees and the great and the good from the construction and steel industries to a gala award ceremony where the winners are announced. Once again, the uh, awards show that ingenuity, innovation is alive in the steel industry in the UK. And it's something to be very proud of and I am personally proud to be part of the industry.